Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. One of the things I get asked all the time as a pastor, it's a pleasure getting to walk through life with people. People are always saying, hey, listen, I have this question about this or that. Uh, one of the questions I get is for people who are not married about uh, choosing a spouse, and, and, and what's a good way to get at that? Now, here's the thing. Let me start from the beginning. Listen, this is a huge thing. And the reason it's a huge thing is because according to the Bible, God's ideal is one man and one woman in one marriage for one whole life. So you don't want to screw this up. If you make the decision for the wrong reasons for the wrong person, then there's so much carnage that comes from that. So much unhappiness that could come from that. And listen, whatever you do, you have to realize you're not marrying a perfect person. That person's not supposed to be, you know, they're not supposed to complete you. Sorry, Tom Cruise in the movie, but they're meant to be your companion through life. So you need to get this thing right. So how can you make sure that you're marrying the right person first? Does that person love Jesus more than they love you? Because here's the deal. You don't want their love. You want Jesus's love coming through them. So you want somebody who loves Jesus more than they love you. Number one. So they have to love Jesus the most. Two, do you enjoy talking to them? Because I'm here to tell you so much of marriage is spending time together, talking, hanging out. So you have to enjoy them as a person. They may love Jesus. If you don't really love being around them, probably not a good idea to devote your entire life to that person and, and make a covenant that you're going to do life and build a family and a life together. So do you enjoy spending time with the person? Three, do you find that person attractive? Don't think it's superficial because listen, we're all, we find beauty. Beauty's in the eye of the holder. And because they're going to be your, your, your partner for life, you want to be attracted to them. So sometimes I meet people like, man, I really, they love the Lord and I, you know, but I'm not attracted to them. And I'm like, Hey, that might not be God's best for you because you, you know, your spirit, soul, and body, and God wants you to be able to link up with someone's spirit, soul, and body. And here's the deal. If you're not sure, don't get married, right? You have to be sure and you have to make that commitment for high up and low down that you can really blossom in your marriage. So this is what I do. I want you to share this video. I mean, I can't unpack everything in two minutes, but I did cover a lot of ground. And in the comment section, I want you to tag a couple who you see as being such a great example of, of a great match uh, in marriage and, and, and just commend them and say, listen, thanks for being a, a bright shining light of, of what a marriage could be, okay? And encourage them because listen, all marriages need encouragement. God bless you guys today.